I like it. I love it. I want more of it. Uh, yes, I like it for obvious reasons, and I'll discuss that. But I actually wanted to talk about briefly my views on how I kind of enjoyed the game more so than the traditional means. And then I wanted to kind of touch upon this excerpt from an article published by IGN France. This game had my curiosity for the AMs, but it kept me glued. It kept me locked in from the outstanding gameplay, wonderful, beautiful music, and just the overall aesthetic, okay? This game, just from the, the brief time I spent with the demo, um, was very challenging. Not cheap challenging, but challenging in a way that it took a couple of tries for me to kind of get the hang of it. Difficult where I need to pay attention to not only my surroundings, but the character's movements, okay? I need to pay attention to where I am in my um, fight animations to see, okay, do I have enough time to block or dodge? Um, the music, the music is beautiful, okay? They had a range of tracks in there, some synth wave, some violin or orchestral. I loved them all. Um, the dialogue, yeah, it's, it, it is what it is, but it's like I'm not playing this game for the dialogue. I'm not playing this game for the awesome story. I'm playing this game to be beautiful and destroy shit, fuck shit up. And what's wrong with that? What's wrong with having, what's wrong with enjoying yourself while playing a game? There used to be a time where you could just escape, <laughs> whether you're reading a book, whether you're going to the movie theater, um, anything. And now you literally have to have a battle with the soul on whether this is right, whether I'm going to offend somebody because I'm buying a ticket to this movie, or whether I'm, you know, offending somebody by playing this game, where or I'm offending somebody because I'm writing the story in a certain way. Like it, it's it's driving people insane because nothing is allowed without giving your reasons on why you decide to do the thing you did. You you have to have a reason. You have to have a valid reason. You have to have you have to have a justifiable reason why you did the thing. And then we'll judge you. Or maybe we'll judge you before you even decide to, 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 to explain yourself. But like, it, it's just exhausting. And I, I wasn't exhausted when playing this game. I, I had fun. I was smiling from ear to ear. I'm repeatedly playing the mo uh, boss rush um, over and over again. Like, I, I, I shift up, they did a great job what they gave us and it should be celebrated and i can't wait for april's 26 but like i'm tired of explaining <laughs> why i enjoy a thing and not simply not caring what you think i should enjoy me just being involved in what i enjoy so yeah um, um but the reason why i wanted to make this video is in much the response that I had internally as as a guy a gamer, um, and in this new climate of how we should view content from, I want to say politically correct lens, but making sure that we're being as equal and fair as possible. And I was coming out conflicted. Um, Yes, the game is overly sexualized. Um, but that over-sexualization doesn't come at a cost to the gameplay. It doesn't come at a cost to the integrity behind the developers or the players that are actually playing the game. It's strictly for you to engage, for you to be entertained. And what's wrong with that? What, what the fuck is wrong with spending hours upon hours looking at something beautiful, something alluring, and slicing and killing and beating the shit out of space aliens or evil androids. Um, just newsflash, none of this shit is real. None of it. And if you want to get at the depiction like, well, it's sending a wrong message to 
women or, or, or girls or, you know, those who identify as women. Um, I don't think it's that deep and I don't understand why for a video game, we have to dissect or provide some type of context or meaning when there isn't any, when that wasn't the original intent of the developers or the director. The director stated, you're going to be spending a lot of time looking at the back of this individual. I spent, our team spent the most time on that, on that, on that view. So we thought we did a good job. Like that, that's, I'm, I'm paraphrasing what he said, Hung Tae Kim, who's a fantastic artist um, and, and, and obviously a gifted uh, director and CEO. Um, I don't understand why the things that you want to do, you like, you have to apologize for doing them as a creative. Um, is this game harming anyone? I'm asking both men and women. Is this game, is the depiction of Eve in all her glory harming anyone? No? Then why can't we just enjoy Eve and the rest of the characters for who they are? Why do we need to apologize or feel shameful for liking the things that we like? Why do we need to have a diatribe <laughs> of, of explaining why we shouldn't like these things? Because they may or may not be a conflict for another group of people. Now, there was a recent article published by IGN France saying that anybody who uh, loved, you're basically saying um, a doll sexualized by someone who's never seen a woman. You're casting a wide dispersion by saying, just because I created the character a certain way, I've never seen a woman. What happens if, what, what, I'm just hypothetical. What happens if I was a woman and it's, I designed that character? <laughs> what happens if I was a woman and I programmed that character? What happens if I was a woman and I designed the, the environments or scenarios around that character? What, 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 where does this stand in? And this is from the IGN France article. And this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this video because it's not true. It, 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 it's, it's a fucked up generalization to say that thing. That, that's more antiquated than anything. What are you saying that women can't enjoy seeing other beautiful women fight, kill, fuck shit up? You, is, that, is that what you're saying? Are you saying that men that like that thing, they're lesser than because they like the thing? Like, the designer for the character designer for Bayonetta was a woman. <clears throat> In fact, Hong Tae Kim, he's married to a concept artist and a character artist who designed the characters from Nikkei. I know I haven't played that game, but if you play the game, I'll show some of the pictures on the screen. Those characters are beautiful and voluptuous, and that's okay. People love to see that thing. You know, and I don't understand why you would say something, why that would come out of your mouth thinking like, oh, I scored some points here and not. And not think that through. So, um, yeah, that, that was a that was a fucked up take, but I'm going to buy this game. Fuck you and whatever you say, fuck whatever you think about me. I'm going to enjoy myself. And I hope those of you who are watching, I hope you enjoy yourselves if you're going to purchase the game. If you did enjoy this, that's fine too. I'm not, I'm not here to trash you. If you didn't enjoy not only this video, but if you didn't enjoy playing Stella Bay, if it, it offended you, I'm, I'm sorry that it did, but it didn't offend me. And I, I can't understand why you would be offended by something that's not real. And I'm not trying to discount you in any way. It's just, we should be able to enjoy things that are not real. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's not real. It doesn't exist in nature. And the things that are real, Yes, we should enjoy those too, but you know we should stay within the confines of law. Okay, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get on the tangent. Um, if you like this video, feel free to like, share, subscribe. Um, my name's Cavs. I'm out.
Thank you.